A History of the World in Ten and a Half Chapters, written by Julian Patrick Barnes in 1989, is a compilation of short historical narratives that spans from biblical times to the 1980s, offering a distinctive and playful perspective on global history. Critics acclaim the work for its ability to render obscure historical events more accessible to a broad readership. Barnes, a novelist, received his education at the City of London School and Merton College, Oxford, and prior to becoming a full-time writer, he engaged in roles such as a critic, editor, and lexicographer for the Oxford English Dictionary. Notably, his brother, Jonathan Barnes, is a prominent philosopher. The book adopts a postmodernist approach to world history, with its interconnected stories revolving around Noah's Ark and the woodworms that clandestinely boarded the Ark. These woodworms, serving as a metaphor for decay, reappear throughout the stories, symbolizing the deterioration of our understanding and appreciation of history over time. The initial narrative, The Stowaway, delves into the woodworms' perspective during their journey on Noah's Ark, expressing their lament at being abandoned and contemplating the discrepancy between their experience and conventional accounts of the Ark. This story highlights the tendency to forget historical lessons, resulting in the irreversible loss of truth. In the subsequent tale, The Visitors, set in 1985 and inspired by the real-life hijacking of the MS Akil Laro, terrorists seize control of a luxury cruise liner, leading to a tragic event that evolves into an international crisis. Returning to the woodworms in the wars of religion, Barnes explores their role in vandalizing a church, drawing a connection between forgetting history and the destabilization of faith and religion. The Survivor presents an alternate universe where the Chernobyl tragedy serves as Earth's first major disaster, leading to widespread hysteria and the protagonists retreat from society. Shipwreck critiques the painting The Raft of Medusa, arguing that it sanitizes the true horror of a shipwreck, glamorizing death for artistic effect. This theme continues in The Mountain, where a woman reflects on the painting at a monastery and seeks forgiveness for her father's sins. Three simple stories weave narratives of survival at sea, featuring an RMS Titanic survivor, Jewish refugees aboard the Mississippi St. Louis in 1939, and the biblical story of Jonah and the whale. In Upstream, an actor faces the challenges of filming in the jungle, expressing fear of a potential attack by natives. The story explores the uncertainty and disillusionment that arise when reality clashes with perception. Parenthesis, a brief story nestled between chapters 8 and 9, contemplates love and its role in leaving lasting legacies. Project Ararat follows an astronaut on a mission to uncover the remains of Noah's Ark, a task with significant consequences for the world. Concluding the collection, the dream reflects on the afterlife and heaven, contemplating their implications for understanding life, death, and historical preservation. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.